bees do so much for us. They feed us. Without bees, we wouldn't have our food. <laughs> bees are creative, sentient creatures. And what is fascinating about working with bees, one, we don't need to be afraid of them. They don't want to sting us. <laughs> um, and But their logic is so unique and sort of so inscrutable to humans. There are no secrets, there are always surprises. And every time we went to the hive to see what the bees were doing, there was a surprise. Sometimes they do the exact opposite of what you expect or what you want. And I think that's also a wonderful negotiation that bees have a will. <laughs> they, they're not gonna work under our direction. Most of the work was done over what are called two bee seasons, which would be um, from about June when the canola blooms until about September uh, when the bees are active building honeycomb and making honey. And of course the artist can be active the rest of the year. I have three artworks in the exhibition and I created them in advance. Um, one of them has become a sculpture, and that one I did not necessarily intend it to all become one piece. There are several pieces together. So one that um, kind of has a feeling of a mirror where you can almost, like an antique mirror where you can barely see yourself, but you can. Um, there's a piece of sweet grass that I burnt um, before putting anything inside, and I left that as an offering for the bees. I also have a pezinka, which is a Ukrainian Easter egg. I'm Métis and Ukrainian, so I was really thinking about family in that way and then also bringing some of my, some of me and my family traditions into that as well. And then I also ha had a plate with a piece of costume jewelry, which really reminded me of going into my, my Baba's um, room and she always had all this, I, I just would go into her room and look at all the, her jewelry. And so yeah, those pieces kind of, the, the bees decided to bring, put them all together into one sculpture. So I wasn't quite sure what they would do, but now you see them really connected. And I ended up calling that piece magic mirror. Well, what I'm hoping for people to experience in the exhibition of Between Us is a sense of closeness and wonder um, about what bees do and uh, their, their lives and their work. Um, so in place of gallery pedestals, in some cases we've used stacks of honey supers, so beehives in the gallery, and many people won't have these kind of intimate um, connections with honeybees. And so this the smell of the honeycomb and the honey, um, the site of the beehives and of course all of these incredible creations uh, that were collaborations between artists and honeybees uh, help us understand and empathize with bees. Um, you know, not to personify them and say they're just like us, but to say they're wondrous creatures.